The 19th annual Amelia Island Concourse de Elegance just wrapped up this past weekend. The course is regarded as one of their premier automotive events in the world, not only known for showcasing one-of-a-kind car collections, but elegant fashions as well. And here today to recap on the spectacular event and its styles as fashion model and style expert, Yoana House. Hey, how are you? Yes, you? you were there hanging out with I all was. the pretty beautiful cars yes. and you had the fashion going on. For yes. anybody who's not familiar with Concord de Elegance, what, what is it all about? Well, this is my first time as well. Um, I had done something years back for a magazine, but I'd never actually attended the event and it was absolutely spectacular. So imagine perfect skies, the beautiful Ritz-Carlton golf course, the most interesting, you know, collection of cars. So if you're an enthusiast and fixing out of car lovers, you don't really have to be in order to attend. Lots of money was going to charities. And you don't course, have to go there and buy cars. No, you can actually you go don't. there and just take a look at well, these amazing, and it takes unique. a particular uh, savings account to be able to afford a lot of those <laughs> cars. But, um, you know, it was just such a remarkable event. It was so well put together, so elegant, and it was just a spectacular thing to, you know, even be a part of and, and to go to. And along with that they they mixed in obviously because they had you there as well but right. they mixed in some fashion along with the cars yes. how did that so, go so what's really cool about this is that the florida fashion group north chapter of jacksonville um sandra alford who was the director of the annual fashion shows throughout the year she put together the most amazing you know fashions for the girls and she coordinated them with the cars in their eras so we're going to go through some of the most you know, exquisite cars, and then the models that got to wear the clothes from that era. Oh, cool. So Break let's start off here. We've got Julia. She was a 1928 Mercedes-Benz Torpedo Roadster. So, of course, back in the 1930s, um, you know, it was women were kind of still dressing up even though the depression was kind of going on and as you can see a lot of fringe in the flapper girl and it was about short hair and rhinestones as you can see and um, she really did a sensational job just holding that cigarette and really engaging with the uh, crowds and just you know got in there and did it was very great, great job. Gatsby yes very great Gatsby and then we moved to the 30s yes and then we have the horch in 1937 so here you can see very much it was a lot about the long black gown lots of gloves crystal trim and also dark red lips were uh, big at that time. Women did not let go of the chicness of makeup, so that was important for them. And then 1955, we had the Cadillac Special Cabriolet. Beautiful. And as you can see, Christina's here. She is really coming together and putting t this sort of ex accentuation on the waist, similar to Grace Kelly, Sophia Loren, because a lot of times the movie stars set the trends, and this is exactly mm -hmm. what this whole look is all about. And we got uh, 60. Yes, 60, 1963. Right? So think about Jackie O. You've got the 300 SL Mercedes Roadster. Ah, so if you can see a lot of pillow box popularized, um, Jackie really popularized elegance coming back in a big way because people were kind of forgetting about fashion in the late 50s. And this was a chance to kind of, you know, she resuscitated it, brought it back. And um, as you can see there, that was the inspiration behind um, the look. In the 70s, we got Maserati, but there was, there was, was also there. something else going on with Maserati. Yeah, I was there with the Maserati, so that was my era, 1970s. You can see Studio 54 was the inspiration for the look, so lots of glitz. You know, the, the boot was big, platforms, glitter, sparkle, and um, as you can see, Jerry Hall and Mick Jagger were also big in the 70s, it's always out on the scene. And, um, Maserati was celebrating its yes. 100th, is that yes, right? Yes, so, so we were there for Maserati's celebration of the 100th year. So as you can see, this was one of the um, the owner that I was with. He was so excited for me to be in his car because he said all the cars were so elegant, but his was really about being sexy. And he kept saying, be sexy, be sexy, <laughs> let's win, rock and roll. And I just was having such a good time with him because he was just he was just so delightful and being so charming. So along with this, you, there's also a, a best in show, is that right? Yes, yeah, so the best in show, so a lot of these people come out and they drive from all over a lot of these cars wow. are shipped um, knowing they're not really allowed to Gorgeous. be you know they're handled in a very special way and this was the winner the 1937 Horch wow. um, and it was the best in show and what a lot of people don't know is that there was an auction going on a private auction so a lot of these proxy bids this is one of the spectacular cars that was kind of not ready to be unveiled just yet the night before it spent the night on the grounds with security and everything and they were just placing bids for the buyer so some of the cars went for a few hundred thousand and I heard one of them sold for like nine million. So, Holy moly. So yeah, so it was really, really awesome. I'm sure Phil was there. I Big bet. car enthusiast. What'd you buy? You spent a million? Test oh drove a my Lamborghini. Gosh. There you they go. They wanted me to drive the Maserati, but I said I don't think I'd have enough insurance. They wanted you for to that. drive it and you said no. Well it was a stick and I don't know how. <laughs> Can you imagine? You guys call me next time. Well, all the people I'll, were, I'll get I it was, up on two I wheels. So we'll nervous. have a lot of fun with it. I could never. It. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Ioana. As always, 
and you can look for this year's Concord Elegance. Or thank you for going there, of course. And a reminder: uh, what does this say? We'd we like to thank, thank. Who is that? Uh, Dreamer Studio. Dreamer, thank you yeah. for saying that for me for allowing us to use their images. So those are their pictures. If you have any beauty, style, or fashion questions for you want or you want to sponsor a beauty by segment, email her at living at firstcoastnews.com.